Hey everybody, we are live. My name is Tony Jackson. I am an educator from Hackensack, New Jersey, back in the States. And I am super excited to be here in London for the BETT show, the BET show 2018. I'm here at Microsoft headquarters in the UK and I have an amazing guest with me. This is Ian Fordham. He's a former educator and he is the current director of education from Microsoft UK. Ian, welcome. Well, welcome. Welcome to London. Welcome to the UK. Is it the first time here? Uh, a couple of times. It's been a while though. Okay, cool. Um, so I had a couple of questions. You mind if I get into those? Yeah, go for it. Okay, great. So the first question I wanted to talk to you about deals with right now. Okay. There's a lot of exciting things that are happening in the EdTech space. What are some of the things that are really getting you excited personally right now? So a big thing for me, I think, is around inclusion. So uh, lots of technology that's now available, like our learning tools, mm. uh, now really available across different platforms, making learning accessible for young people, but also making it really easy for teachers to use that technology. So things like dictation, you know, allowing students to be able to kind of access our tools and kind of input information in that way. Um, big push on innovation. So you know, mixed reality, uh, some of our partnerships with Pearson around HoloLens, mm -hmm. um, some of our partnerships with Lego as well, hacking STEM, lots of kind of exciting activity around that. Um, I guess the message across all of it is trying to make our technology as accessible as possible uh, for educators and for students, uh, wherever they are, whether that be at home, whether it be at school, and really the educators are right at the heart of our story. Love that, love that. So accessibility, huge. Uh, and that leads me right into my second question. We know what's exciting you. What should all of the educators and education leaders be looking at now and paying attention to at the Bet Show? So obviously the first point is to navigate your way through all this huge kind of warehouse of tech straight to the Microsoft stand, <laughs> obviously I would say that, um, and there's some amazing activity going on, hands-on demos for teachers, latest developments, what's new in EDU, and um, so a whole range of different things that are going to make accessible for, for our educators there. But sometimes an educator, and I was educated 20 years ago, um, uh, you know, trying to navigate your way through um, all these different suppliers and so on, the startup zone is really fantastic, so lots of really innovative educators who are coming up with great ideas years, startup businesses who are integrating into our own technology. There's some amazing stuff going on there, so I definitely suggest going to the future space as well as the Microsoft stand. And also we've got some really great affordable devices. So all of our partners like HP and Lenovo and others have got some amazing technology there, uh, integrating our work into that as well. So it can be really overwhelming for educators to go there for the first time, um, but we can try and give people a bit of a, a guide uh, on what's going on, what's new and what's really exciting. I love that. So that, that guidance is an important, important part of it. Um, I can't wait to bring all of this back to my own district. Um, and so now thinking about what's exciting right now, thinking about what people are going to look at at BET, what are the must-see things, the last question I had for you is thinking in the future, right? Not too far into the future, though. For the next year, 2018, what are the trends that educators really have to look at and keep an eye out for in this space? So a big thing for us is around um, AI, so artificial intelligence. The, the way I like to explain it is augmented intelligence, because mm. we don't want to get rid of the teachers, we want Please. them right at the heart uh, of, of the action. Um, so again, all this real-time knowledge, machine learning, is actually available already, and people don't know about it. So in all of the tools, or Word and PowerPoint and learning tools, etc., it's all there. So actually making people aware of all that technology, uh, to make sure that it's actually guiding and nudging people, things like immersive reader, which for dyslexic students is really great to access that, that learning. Um, PowerPoint translator, so whatever language you're speaking, that's mm. available. It's all powered by AI and machine learning, and that's available now. It's not some kind of future state, it's already here. Um, another big trend for me is around kind of making, digital making, uh, and making computing as a subject accessible for as many people as possible. So um, we talk again about democratizing computing, not, not making it a really difficult subject, but actually allowing parents to have be involved in that conversation, uh, be able to access all the different materials online, wherever they are. So I guess the kind of messages are accessibility, inclusion, um, but really also for educators, impact. So all this stuff you can take back to your school and do something with tomorrow rather than sometime in the future. I love it. I'm not going back tomorrow. No, no, fine. No, but, please, uh, no, please know, stay. But, please stay. Uh, I, I'll stay as long as I can. Um, I, I love the things that you're giving us in terms of mentioning accessibility. I know a big thing with Microsoft has also been affordability, yeah. and, and those things matter so much, not just to the teachers, but to yeah. the families as well. Uh, so that's just a sneak peek. You saw a genuine smile on my face. <laughs> I'm getting excited about all this stuff. Um, and I can't wait for tomorrow and every other day of the Bet Show. Make sure that you click on the link below so that you can join us live at the Bet Show and check out all that Microsoft and all these other exciting